So, are you like me, and you suck at Dark Souls games, and you're, the only way you're good at them is if you're massively overpowered? Is that why you clicked on this video? Probably is. But anyway, what's going on guys? Panda here, and welcome to Elden Ring. This video is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to farm a lot of runes, or if you're a veteran, souls very easily. So here's what you're going to want to do. So, these are your first three gray sites in the entire game right here. This is where you start, and this is where you come out. You get to the first step, and you go. You're going to find, you're going to want to go to the Church of Ella first, just so that way you unlock your first vendor, and you unlock your first area to upgrade your weapons. If you've already done that, cool, then this doesn't apply to you. Now, after that, you're going to want to go northeast up here. So, you're going to find just some stuff up here. There's a telescope that you can use to look over the area. But you're going to head northeast and you're going to go to the third church of america once you're here there's going to be a few items here there's going to be one here and there's going to be one here i'm not exactly for sure what items were here i can't remember i'm way past this point but that's not the point of this video these these items are very uh useful that you find here one of them increases the amount you heal from your uh flask and that's extremely useful so anyway once you're here you're going to show up at the gray site. You're going to obviously activate it so we can teleport here. You're going to want to run out here. You're going to head down this way. And once you find this little grassy area here, you're going to continue into it. And then eventually, you're going to see a soul path right here. This little path that guides you here. It's going to bring you to a teleporter. You're going to examine that teleporter and you're going to use it. Once you're here, you're going to... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Grail's Dragon Barrow. You're going to show up here. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to turn around and there is going to be a door you can open here and it opens to the Bestial Sanctum and there is a gray site in the Bestial Sanctum. You're not, you don't, you can activate it. It's not very important to this walkthrough, so don't worry about it. Just it's another gray site to have. So afterwards, you're going to grab your horse. Go ahead and just ignore this dude because you're going to get absolutely smacked if you try to fight that guy. And you're going to head down this way. You're actually going to run by some of the enemies that you're going to be farming for the runes. But don't worry about them right now because you are not strong enough to fight them. So we're going to head down. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep charging. It's a long ride, but we're almost there. These guys do hit extremely hard, so try not to let them hit you, especially if you're extremely low level with very beginning gear. So once you're here, there is another. there's going to be another gray site right by this bridge. So, as you can see, we're right here. I haven't unlocked the map yet here, so that's why it looks as it does. But here is the grave site that you're the grave site that you're going to start at. Here is the bestial sanctum where we just were. So once you're here, I'm going to show you exactly what you need. All you're going to need is some kind of melee weapon, preferably a one-handed or something that can do easy critical attacks and very strong. And then whatever armor you want doesn't matter at all. Anything that does a critical attack uh, that is works, just do sneak attacks. So after that, all you're going to do is you're going to leave the site and you're going to see a bunch of these dudes running around like so. This guy right here, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to go sneak up behind this guy. Just make sure you sneak up behind them. Do not let them aggro you because they do hit extremely hard if you're not able to beat them in time. So you're going to walk up. You're going to do a critical. It might not kill them on the first strike, so you just lock on. You hit them again, and they're dead. And that is an easy 1,094 runes. There is around 20 of these guys in this area, and it can take you 10, 15 minutes per run, maybe, if even that. And so you're going to be farming about 20,000 runes every time you do this. And you can run it in 5 minutes, you can run it in 10 minutes. It's all up to your speed and how strong you are. And then once you hit all 20 enemies you've gotten your runes, just go ahead and summon your horse back. You're going to head back to the gray site. You can teleport there too, and if you're not as close as I am, it doesn't matter, obviously. Go ahead and get off your horse. Rest the site. Those enemies are going to respawn. And you have an unlimited farming source. You're looking at about 20, 15 to 20,000 runes, depending on enemy locations. Like there's a guy over there. There's a ton up in this area. There's some over here. You're looking at 15 to 20,000 runes every round. And if you have a few hours to kill, you're looking at leveling up easily 30, 40 times in the first hour to two hours. I'm level 52. I've only passed the second boss of the game. I've been doing this a lot. It's extremely useful. 
So I would highly recommend this be your spot. But anyway, if you have any other questions, you want any other tips on the game, I can drop more. Make sure you leave a like. It really helps me out. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you so much. This has been Panda, and I'll see you guys in the next video.